so the next stop on the Project Gary Marathon train is finally here. How's it going, everyone? And welcome to another episode of this special VR revisiting series where I revisited all of the Project Gary games, this time of me returning to Project Gary 3 in VR. And this one is also made by Chumbro Bam. This is the third entry of the Project Gary series, and this time we're in a defunct building with these withered animatronics about to surround our office. Oh my. I remember this game being really hectic since the original time that I played this before, and wow. <laughs> I was moving around very fast in the office in no time trying to get everyone out as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and hop right back into Project Gary 3, this time in VR then, shall we? Caution, this game contains jump scares, loud noises, gore, and flashing lights. If you have epilepsy or are scared easily, please pass so if any of you are prone to that stuff, the B-Ward. Oh, hiya there, Chris, looking more purple than before. Oh, hey, I was about to predict if there was a particular blue person in the darkness, and yep, there is. <laughs> In the same exact spot, looking into the pitch dark void around me, Project Gary 3. Of course, we can start the main game. I want to take a look at the credits first. Created by Chumbro Band, Finance of Gary's created by Dark Space 2009, Finance of Freddy's by Scott Cawthon. And those are the credits, so let's get started with this game here. Oh, and we are all zoomed up in Chris's face right there. Nick and Jaden are happy because the Hive got an update. Hey, that's some good news. And... Yeah, you're always expecting me to read the newspaper from this far away, aren't you? $10,000 bounty for serial killer. 45-year-old Cassidy Miller wanted dead or alive for the murder of many people. Police are willing to pay $10,000 to anyone who catches him. He was seen near one of his establishments, Gary's Funland. Oh boy, you know I really want that cash prize for hunting down a crazy lunatic that's still out there roaming the streets. And once again, I wanted to give out a shout out to past me for <laughs> reading that newspaper clipping real normally in the original gameplay of Project Gary 3. All right, let's get started with a brand new week over at Gary's. Shift one, and I really do like how these nights are starting off now. Oh, Wally will wander into your office, use R1 to keep him out. Chris will make his way to your office through the hallway on your left. When he gets to the end of the hall, hide by pressing square. Finally, your oxygen supply is glitched and you will slowly lose oxygen. Press up on the D-pad, then X to reset it. Oh, wow, there it is. All right, so I remember all of the controls here. Hey there, Chris. Still don't get the whole idea of your existence. <laughs> and of course, this whole place has the same open ceiling plan. Oh, oh, and there's where I'm at. <laughs> Just gotta look around. At more of this decrepit place and of course I could see <laughs> the outermost bounds of this place once again this really does give me a lot of vibes to that other room from Project Gary 2 where Mortimer liked to chill out at and this is another barren arcade room with a lot of chairs and hey there's another Gary plush sitting there all alone I kind of want to Bring him in here to accompany this other Gary Flesh that's sitting on my desk right now. And this is another room with nothing in it. Oh, and there goes Wally in this empty show stage room. <laughs> oh, and there's that same hallway that Chris is going to go down into. Just a whole bunch of other empty rooms. And, yeah, of course someone had to put sus look at graffiti there on the wall. Oh, oh, I was about to lose oxygen there. <laughs> Look, I just wanted to take a look at all of these rooms here. And, of course, you gotta sit on the table. Really? People used to eat there. I mean, come on, that's just unsanitary. Oh, no. Hey, Wally. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
Oh, I see that. Oh, you get out of here. Oh, no. Come on, I know you want to go away. I shut the door in your face, fair and square. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chris is coming. That's not good. You're just as tall to pretty much touch the ceiling there. Oh, no. He's waddling his way over here. Come on, I know you want to show yourself right at that hallway. If I can just get the right angle, then of course I could be able to see him there. Oh! Oh! Okay. So that's how you properly deal with Chris. All right. And there we go. Moving on to shift two. <laughs> what a really great start off to this week, though. Mickey is now active. You must look at his camera to stop him from escaping. Oh, yeah. So he's pretty much an attention seeker right there. So I pretty much got to make sure that I keep my eyes on Mickey there. All slumped over the side of that stage. Oh, I see your shadow there on the wall. Yeah, get lost. I mean, you could have just walked on into the office and jump scared me as soon as the door opened, but yeah, I guess you're one of those impatient types. Get lost. I could see you through under this table. Yeah, good thing that I can go through solid objects just to make sure that you're properly gone. And of course, Wally's back. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Why don't you go attend to Mickey? Because it looks like he really needs a lot of assistance right about now. And there we go. We can now move on to shift three. Oh, great. Who's going to be active for tonight, huh? Gary is now active. Close the door to stop him from entering. And of course, I know what he's going to look like whenever he appears in the door. It's going to be really obvious to see him standing right there. Just clogging all of that space to enter the office here. Got to pretty much deal with him. Oh, no. Oh, he's in the trash area. Hey, can you please take care of the trash problem that's pretty much plaguing this place, Gary? Oh, you're just in there checking out the arcade machines? I guess that's really wholesome. Okay, get out of here. Oh, no. All right. Gary's still taking all the sweet time to pretty much come all the way over here. Look, the door is pretty much open for you to enter through, so... Yep, there you are. I was literally talking about you. <laughs> and right as the door opens up, you're going to disappear, of course. Because whenever there's an obstructed object in your way, of course you don't have to pretty much duck under the door and slowly walk in the office towards me. And nicely done. <laughs> Clocking into shift four. And the only last character I got to deal with is Ray. Ray is back. When you hear his laugh, hide quickly. So pretty much got to hide under the desk the same way like I do with Chris as he's lumbering his way through that darkened hallway. And that's pretty much all the changes for tonight. So, uh... Yeah, this is gonna be practically simple. <laughs> oh, yep, I hear you laughing on the other side there, Ray. And you haven't even moved just yet. <laughs> so pretty much you're not even that threatening at all. Oh, no, I think I closed it too early. Yep. Uh, come on in here, Gary. Oh, yep. I take that back. I completely shut you out. <laughs> right on time. And we finally made it to shift five. And oh, uh, who are you supposed to be, buddy? Uh, who's banging on where? <laughs> Is someone trapped inside of that suit there? Oh, don't you move. So how are things recently? Huh? Oh, yep! Yep, that poor soul got spring-locked in that suit. And, of course, we got the same spooky red 
taken in place of shift five right there. The animatronics are very active tonight. Good luck. So yeah, pretty much just the same exact stuff as usual. But this time, they're way more aggressive. So let me go ahead and wrap up this night nicely here. And hopefully Gary doesn't kick me in the face with his freaking legs that he now has. Hey Chris, I was looking at the door. <laughs> I mean, you can still see me from over here, Chris. I don't know why <laughs> you went back to the place that you started from, but eh, whatever. That works out for me. I mean, you're clearly standing in the middle of the doorway as it was opening up. So <laughs> uh, I'm not going to question anymore. And there we go. Finished off the fifth shift. And hey, look at that. We're finally just taking in all the Mother Nature away from that decrepit building. Oh, uh, who are you over there? Why are you following me around? Oh, oh, I think I know who that might be. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, hi there. You are way smaller in person. Oh, and he got freaking taken down. <laughs> That's what happens whenever you mess around with me, buddy. The depressing Dark Dead Dealer coming soon. TNAT is getting a sequel. It is called 3NAT. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to check out that sequel, though. And of course, uh, were you the one that took down Cassidy Miller in that cutscene, by the way? Are you like my guardian angel in this whole series? Cassidy Miller caught. 45-year-old Cassidy Miller was caught and shot by local. When in the hospital, Miller admitted that many people died in his restaurant and that two employees were hidden in suits. Miller is in the hospital and will be sent to prison when healed. The local who shot Cassidy was stabbed, but will be okay. A new night guard will be covering over for him. Well, at least Cassidy Miller has been put down for the time being in... Wow, what a brave soul to pretty much, well, save my life as I was trying to take a nice stroll out there in the woods. <laughs> and if we continue on forward here, way past this very menacing newspaper headline, we are brought back to the main menu here. and We can take a look at all of the extras. <laughs> yeah, come at me, Chris. So here are the characters. Disassembled Gary. Oh, and of course you're back. You're like a reoccurring character in the series, aren't you? Chris. Ray. Mickey. Wally. Classic Wally. And we can take a look at the jump scares. So brace for those in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh! So there's Wally. <laughs> and he's zipped on out of the office. Oh! And Gary as he's... Well... Come to say hello. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, Mickey. And Ray. And of course, we have some more bonus night challenges and other modes to take a look at here. Oh, and he... Here is all the hey ya Gary, so at least you're gonna meet me in person as I'm here to handpick through all these challenges. So we have trashy electronics. While returning to work, you find out that the oxygen supply was completely broken and that the door opened super slowly. Survive against the animatronics with trashy electronics. They really did not really want to repair any of our electronics that are pivotal to our survival angles the animatronics move at different angles making them harder to see lights out the entire fun lands lights went off for some reason you can only see the animatronics by their glowing eyes oh there we go what are you looking at spring bonnie and of course stay calm is playing in the background with a lot of distortion going on and of course, Gary's eyes are completely spooky red too. And the final Cheeto challenge. <laughs> there goes everyone having 
Well, I don't really want to question what's going on back there. The final Cheeto challenge, sus survive. So the first one is trashy electronics and... Ah, oh, great. Now I have to pretty much rely on resetting my oxygen a whole lot. Oh, here we go. And of course, gotta keep watch on Mickey like always. So yeah, if we close our door, it's gonna open up very slowly there and oh no I have to keep opening up my tablet just to reset the oxygen every few seconds here oh that is not good <laughs> oh great wish me luck everyone as I try to get a lot of that clean air into this disgusting looking place here <laughs> oh hey there Wally <laughs> well at least my door is gonna be opening a lot more slowly this time just so that you can actually stay out there for longer. And there we have the trashy electronics mode. So the next one is going to be angles and, well, I got to memorize where these new positions of these animatronics are going to be hanging out at. Here we go with this challenge. All right, so let's see how different they're going to be moving around. Oh, and I don't have to deal with Mickey at all. So pretty much I have to look at this camera to make sure that they're not even playing any sort of sick games. Which, well, we already know what they're up to nowadays, huh? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, I see you there. <laughs> look, the soda dispenser machine doesn't work now, okay? Seriously, you're probably going to get yourself some expired soda if you want that as <laughs> your sort of choice. Hey there, Chris! <laughs> Trying to sink into the ground. Oh, hi there, Gary. Do you want to play some arcade machines after all this chaos is over with? That's something that I really want to do. Oh! Okay. So there goes Wally, and just like he appeared, he quickly disappeared afterwards. Wait. Get out of here! Oh, no! Yep, I think I was pretty much in the same spot as Gary. Oh, no! You get out of here! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, that's just not okay. So me and Gary shared the same body there for a second in the cameras. <laughs> Never in my life would have actually been able to see that before. Oh, there we go. So the angles mode has been finally finished off. And of course, <laughs> the next one as a concept is definitely a real eerie one here. So here we have the lights out mode completely all of the lights in the whole place are going to be off and the only things that we're going to be seeing out from these animatronics are these little things called their eyeballs <laughs> just glowing in the dark just to make sure that well we are warned that they're nearby here we go lights out mode so pretty much everything else is going to be the same exact thing but oh ho, 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 i do not like the pitch darkness here so yeah, the only things we're going to be able to see are their eyeballs. Oh, and I could definitely see yours glowing in the dark there, Ray. Oh, no. Oh, I see Wally over there lurking outside. How about you get out of here for me? I don't need your spooky red eyeballs lighting up the place. Oh, Chris. Get out of here, please. Oh, no, I did not like that. <gasps> hey, Gary, how about you have a door shut in front of your face? Ah, get wrecked, man. <laughs> please don't get me. It's already 3 a.m. Yes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so that was the lights out mode. My gosh. Oh, wow, and of course the next one's going to be the one challenge or mode for Zambros. What you looking at, Spring Bonnie? All right, here we go. So this one's going to be 
Just a silly little joke challenge here. Oh, and all the walls are pretty much blue right now. I know my letters. <laughs> I know A to Z. <laughs> and of course, there goes Zambros speaking over somewhere as I use that spray bottle on these animatronics here. Oh, hey! Get lost, Gary! I know A to Z. <laughs> I know my How about you go ahead and stay hydrated up for me, Gary? Can you just at least do that? Yeah, same goes for you too, Wally. I know A to Z. Oh, get out of here. And there we have the Zambros mode. <laughs> At least I made Gary and his friends way more hydrated than before. Hopefully they learned that lesson. And of course, the final mode for me to take on is the final Cheeto Challenge. Oh gosh, sus survive. This is going to be really hectic in VR mode. However, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Here we go. I got jump scared too. Let's go. Third time's a charm. Hey. Moving up in the world tonight. Hey, another damn it, of course. There goes Gary's 
move right there. Oh, wow. Oh, hey there, Chris. <laughs> I remember that perspective. And there goes Wally, Ray. Oh, wow. Hey, there goes Shadow Chris. Uh, are you going to do any sort of sick dance moves like anyone else, Mickey? Hey, this is awesome. Oh, there goes Classic Wally. <laughs> hey, now everyone's having a good old time here. Oh, that is so awesome. And that was the final Cheeto Challenge done a second time in VR. And ultimately, that wraps up Project Gary 3 in VR. Wow, what an insane adventure this was. <laughs> so that was pretty much all it for this insane Project Gary Marathon VR revisiting episode of Project Gary 3. Wow, it was really great going back into the main game itself and having that plushie just tell us how every single animatronic worked throughout each of the nights and having that near-death experience with Cassidy Miller and ultimately he got freaking taken down, which is really fortunate for us. And I love playing through all of those challenges too. Every single one of them felt really different from the last. Of course, for that Lights Out one, that is my favorite one for how tense it was. Being in pitch darkness and only seeing the eyes of the animatronics. <laughs> and that final Cheeto challenge was just as insane as the other modes in VR. And of course, we got that third animatronic jam out session there at the end with moving up in the world oh man these music choices are so fantastic and that only leaves with one more project gary game to revisit in this series and that is project gary 4 and that game itself is gonna be quite the doozy to pretty much rebeat in vr <laughs> So stay tuned for that. So if anyone has enjoyed this insane episode of this Project Gary Marathon series here, then y'all know what to do down there since all of you are amazing. Like, comment, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already, or else you'll be forced to go through that final Cheeto challenge with all of the Gary's animatronics surrounding the office. And hit that bell to be notified of all my future content and streams because I do sometimes stream on my channel. And that's about it, so I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and yeah, see y'all.